So, um, we had some news coming out from this upcoming event called Venom War, which I actually, now that I think about it, I think it is actually going on right now. Basically, Venom War is um, a war between Eddie Brock and his son, Dylan, over who holds the title of Venom. Well, it turns out that we got some news regarding uh, the future for Venom post-Venom War. And what we've discovered is that neither Eddie nor Dylan will be holding that title. Yeah, as it turns out, neither Eddie nor Dylan will be um, the next, uh, will be the new, will be the older of Venom. Instead, we're getting a brand new, all new, all different Venom. I keep using all new, all different, and yes, I know, that's like, <laughs> that is literally like, hey, wait a minute, the last time we did all new, all different for anything, it didn't work out for several titles. Um, because it really felt like it, w it had no direction. But yeah, we're getting a new, that there will be a new holder of the Venom symbiote, some and it's someone who has never been merged with the symbiote. It's four, uh, Dylan Brock is essentially looking into four people, four new candidates the symbiote has bonded with. And it's four people, to my knowledge, who have never been bonded to a symbiote. So, yeah. So let's talk about the four, can the four suspects that are the new Venom. First off, we got our, uh, we're going to talk about the two, mo the two candidates that look most likely, but I have this sneaking suspicion that Alley Wing is going to pull the rug out from un under us and reveal, um, it's going to be the lesser two candidates, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, first candidate, and this new Venom, the design-wise, is a gold tint instead of, it's uh, black and gold instead of, um, bla of like, uh, black and white. So we've got a gold tint, and two of our suspects do have gold tint to them. The first one, Luke Cage. Yeah, Luke Cage as Venom is kind of a scary thought, right? Like, you already thought Luke Cage was strong, now he's got the symbiote? Yeah. Now, the reason why I think it, why it could be Luke Cage, and he's my top suspect for being that, is because it isn't the first time we've seen a Marvel character get a symbiote. I mean, look, Al Ewing gave Natasha a symbiote, and that's been pretty interesting so far. Then we have Luke Cage, who is still the mayor, as far as my knowledge, uh, is still the mayor of New York, and he wants to get back into the superhero business. Like, he really has been dying to get back into doing superhero stuff, but he can't because he's a mayor and he'd be breaking his own laws. So what better way to uh, carry out, you know, being a superhero than wearing literally a alien goop that covers your face? That is a smart way to do it. And you add the symbiote strength to Luke Cage's own strength and invulnerability, yeah, it's a pretty dangerous uh, combination right there. So right now, my uh, the and I could be wrong. I fully acknowledge I could be wrong, but I'm gonna say it's Luke. I'm gonna say Luke Cage is uh, is the top suspect. Our second one is Madame Mask. These are the four people. I'm not. And to be fair, and to be clear, yeah, to be clear, I'm not pulling these out of my ass. That was literally in the description. Even I was like, these four, these four, the, it could be the new Venom. One of these four, okay. I'm just telling you the description of who the uh, sus the four suspects are. So, Madame Mask, um, of course, is a Iron Man villain who has been around for a while. She's been the head of Hydra, AIM, all of that. And she has been uh, on and off again around. Now, it could be her, and I know it's some people's, oh, it can't be Madame Mask because the Venom symbiote looks too masculine. Well, again, Mask could be hiding the fact um, that it's a woman because, like, maybe she, the symbiote, remember, can twist and morph to suit the uh, the host. So what could be happening is that Madame Mask, if it's if it is her, she's making it look more masculine to throw the heat off that it's her as Venom. I don't think it is it's her because again, it, even though yes, it is the gold tint to the symbiote emblem, but I do think. I do honestly think that it, it you can't rule anything out. Furthermore, this Venom is said to be still a hero. And Madame Mask is a lot of things. Hero, it ain't, she ain't. So, But you never know. So let's move on. Those are our two top... Can those are the two people everyone's looking at the most. Because of the gold tinting. And it makes a lot of sense for both of them. 
Now let's talk about our next two candidates. Who, again, these two have never worn symbiotes, but they've always been part of the Venom of the Spider-Man of like the superhero. There's the better word, the superhero universe. Our first one is Rick Jones. Now, Rick Jones, I don't know why I keep putting my hands up. I, was, I don't know why I do that. I did that. Yeah, Rick Jones is a fascinating one. And if I was to pick one of these two lesser candidates, this might be my second choice because Rick makes a lot of sense to be Venom on multiple levels. Rick has experienced being a superhero, um, from ranging from being, you know, Cap's sidekick when he pretended to be, when Cap made him into Bucky because he was dealing with PTSD. It's a long story. Um, he was bonded to Captain Marvel. He was a fucking Hulk. And, yeah. Um, he was, he's been a lot of things. Like, Rick Jones has been a lot of things. So, and he's been, a, you know, a major part of the Marvel Universe. So, to have Rick Jones as our Venom, it makes a lot of sense because Rick Jones has always been intrinsically tied to almost, not just Hulk, but to so many characters in the Marvel Universe. And I would also say Rick Jones has got a good shot because Al Ewing did write Immortal Hulk and he did a lot of stuff with Rick Jones. So I think he would like the more I think about it, like Rick Jones is my second pick behind Luke Cage to be the new Venom. Like he's written like Rick, Cage, uh, Rick Jones has been a character Al Ewing was written before. He's intrinsically tied to almost everyone in the Marvel Universe. Um, he has experience being a superhero so, the more you think about it, the more it's like, damn, Rick Jones could be Venom. And let's talk about our our last candidate, who is the most, the last character you'd ever think to be a superhero, let alone have the Venom symbiote. But again, it's always the one, the last guy you suspect who is the guy you who it who turns out it to be. Can't talk today. So, our last candidate. For that Dylan Brock is suspecting is the new will be suspecting to be the new Venom is Robbie Robinson. I'm not joking. Robert Ro uh, Robbie Robinson is on the list for potentially being the new Venom. That I will say again, Robbie Robertson could be Venom. Now, that this is kind of cool in a lot, of, a lot of ways. And again, I don't think it's Robbie. It doesn't make any sense to be Robbie, but again, it's always the last guy you suspect who turns who it turns out to be, right? Um, the the but let's go through the idea of like what it'd be like if Robbie was the if Robbie Robinson was Venom, if he turned out to be the Ven uh, he turned out to be the new Venom. What that ensues is that you have an interesting storyline of a guy who was always like written and printed about truth and justice and fighting for civil liberties for people. He has always fought about the truth. And he's just this older guy. Like, you've never seen a symbiote bonded to... Like, you've always... Like, you've seen symbiotes bonded to people when they're older, like in future timelines, but you've never seen, like, the a symbiote bond to someone who's, like, an older dude who has, like... He's older, he's got less experience. Robbie has no... Ex like, Rick, Mask, Luke, they all have... Um, experience being super like ha having experience in the superhero world mask against superheroes but i digress robbie the best thing he's got is that he has basically been a editor in chief at uh the daily bugle but at the same time that's kind of an interesting thing because his son was almost killed during the gang war which is a horrible ass event but I did, Chris did send me uh, the Luke Cage tie-in and the Miles Morales tie-ins, and those, I heard, are the best parts of Gang War, because the Spider-Man main story sucked, but I'm not getting into that. So, to have his son, who was almost killed in a gang war, could have jump-started Robbie into being like, yeah, maybe with this symbiote, I can take the fight to people who harm my son, harm the people I love and the, and the streets I care about, and I can do... You know, I can do good things with this creature. Could be like that. It could. That's a really interesting idea. Do I think it's Robbie? Probably not. But again, you never know. You never know. It could be Robbie, Rob, Robbie Robinson. And if it is, I'll be like, what? But at the same time, I'll also be like, could be cool. It could be a cool idea to do something with a character that Marvel has really done nothing with. Like Marvel really hasn't done anything interesting with Robbie 
in a long time. And everybody, and here's the thing, everybody loves Robbie Robinson. Everybody loves that character. You know, one of Spider-Man's, one of his oldest uh, supporting characters, a guy who's always been in Spider-Man's corner, um, who knows, you know, the streets of New York, who knows all of that. This guy could, like, there's a lot of story potential there of seeing this old man who's never really had, this older guy who's never really had experience fighting other beings now wears an alien symbiote that is kind of fucked up after everything that's it's been through and now he's bonded to it and now has to like web sling around and be like what the fuck am i doing why do i have a tongue <laughs> why do i have a tongue like a like a two foot long tongue coming out of my mouth but anyway it, you never know so let me talk so to recap of where i think of most likely to least likely um, most likely, my most uh, my most likely candidate of who it could be Luke Cage. Second, Rick Jones. Third, Madam Mask, and f four, Robbie Robinson. But you never know. Hell, um, Al Ewing, for all we fucking know, could be throwing us a massive misdirect, and it's revealed to be a character none of us were suspecting, and it was all just one big misdirect, and it's this fifth character no one was thinking about. Could easily be that. So yeah. So you guys tell me in the comments below, who do you think will be the new Venom? Um, do you think it'll be Robbie? Do you think it'll be Luke? Do you think it'll be Rick? Do you think it'll be Madame Mask? Or do you think it'll be a character that no one was, uh, that wasn't even on the prime suspect list? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.